Hi and welcome to 5 Elements Recaps. A group is tasked with a mission to rescue Yuzu Kaburagi, the head of a Japanese corporation, from the hands of a small Chinese military force led by Zhang Wu. Sakurai tells them that Zhang Wu abducted Kaburagi in order to use him as a pawn in exchange for weapons and ransom money to launch an attack against the Kuman. Aoi Miyoshi and Kezura Aya infiltrate the fort at night while posing as soldiers to confront Kaburagi about utilizing Yukina's incarceration as a business opportunity. Yukina remains hidden in the forest with Natsume Kaji. After rendering the president unconscious, they are discovered. Later, AI persuades Kazura to use his teleportation skills to lead the group outside the fort. It turns out that Kaburagi authorized the shipping of weapons to both the allies and the foes by signing a document. Sergei Kranev, a Jewish-Russian violinist, is suspected by the Kwantung army of being a foreign spy who has been leaking top-secret military intelligence to an unidentified beneficiary. Sakurai asks the gang to look into him. Sakurai confides in Yukina that after her father passed away, Isao Takachiho, her older brother, had vanished into Manchuria. After meeting Kranev in person, AI and Yukina don't find any justification for a means by which Kranev could be a spy. AI and Yukina discover that Kranev's fast part is a coded message that will be aired on the radio as he starts to play in the town hall. Even though they cut off the power supply of the town hall in time, Kranev continues to play for the love of his music. While Yukina receives a letter from her missing brother asking to meet her, a much more pressing bomb threat against the big four department shops in Shanghai overshadows anything else. The attacker tells Yukina where the three other bombs are by letting her read his mind. Yukina and Natsume stay at the store they are in to defuse the third bomb while AI and Kazura seek the other two stores to extinguish two of the bombs. It is revealed that Kyu's, who was ordered to get Yukina, is the assailant. Isao's subordinate Kyu's possesses teleportation and telepathy skills. AI discovers a young girl in one of the shops, adding to the difficulty of dodging Kyu's. Kyu's retreats after being overpowered by the combined attacks of the four spies as they come together. Feng Lan asks AI and Kezura to take photos of the cuisine at her restaurant so that it can compete with the authentic imitation offered by a competitor Japanese eatery. Since they are both professionals, Kezura grudgingly agrees to do it, but AI accepts so he can get a free bayazi. However, a cat steals the bag containing the film of the menu and the film containing a picture of a Japanese lieutenant on vacation after the photo shoot. In order to retrieve the film, AI and Kezura are compelled to look into the green gang. However, they later discover that the cat actually took the bag after smelling the bayazi. In a snapshot that AI took in a German delegate's home, Kazura spots his old friend Nishio, prompting Kazura to look into Nishio's whereabouts. He learns that Nishio is a spy for the Chinese Communist Party after he is kidnapped and tortured by the Kuman. Kazura approaches Nishio's lover Aelin after being freed in return for information about a commenter and related weapons smuggling, and the two of them have a brief conversation about him. Nishio is caught trying to smuggle firearms when he crosses paths with Kazura, who tells him that Aelin is waiting for him. Nishio ignores it and is later murdered. Sakurai alerts AI and Kazura to the possibility that Isao is connected to the Panasanist movement. It takes a while before Isao kidnaps AI and allows him to watch the gathering of the Asian representatives in a tea shop. Isao expresses his own beliefs about Panasianism and eventually persuades AI to join his group. In the meantime, a mystery map that Kyu's had left for Kazura, Yukina, and Natsum to uncover leads them to the tea shop. When they are outside the parlor, Kyu's makes every effort to keep them from interfering. The events leading up to the Mukden incident are seen from the perspective of the Japanese people living in Manchuria at the time. Two young newspaper reporters who are traveling on the South Manchuria Railway run into Lieutenant Colonel Kanji Ishiwara of the Kwantung Army, who assisted in planning the bombing so that Japan could attack Manchuria in the name of self-defense. The story revolves around these two young reporters. There are also other important historical figures like Yashitsugu Teikawa and Seishiro Itagaki. Following the Mukden incident, Japan takes advantage of the chance to annex the whole Manchuria territory during the following six months, resulting in the founding of Manchukuo under the leadership of Putin, the final king emperor. While refusing to acknowledge Manchukuo as an independent country, the League of Nations sends in V. A. G. R. Bulwer Lytton and his committee to assess the situation. Isao then kidnaps the delegation and takes them to the Taklamakan Desert to show them something that is just as terrible as an atomic weapon. He instructs them to tell their country's leaders what they just witnessed and to demand that they give up control of the nations they have colonized. Sakurai asks the gang to look into the prophetess Pui would be meeting. In the meantime, AI, who had previously assumed Shizun Yusa to have passed away, instead catches a glimpse of her. AI searches for his fiancée Shizun in the convoy but is unable to find her. Going unnoticed, he infiltrates the building where she lives but is met by Kazura, posing as an imperial soldier who objects to AI's subjugation. 
Kezura tries to stop him, but AI and Shizune manage to flee. Shizune admits that she is unable to flee with him due of her capacity for foresight and her duty to mentor leaders while hiding in an abandoned home. AI says he'll drop everything to be with her, but as he goes to get a horse so they can flee, she vanishes. Yukina meets her brother in the hotel that she and Natsume are staying at in the meantime. Isao allows her to read his thoughts, which depict the Japanese atomic blasts. Yukina passes out from shock, and when she awakens, she finds the image to be too traumatic. Sakurai disapproves of AI's behavior toward the prophetess but yet permits AI to stay with the group. Yukina reluctantly tells the others about the image Isao showed her, referring to it as hell. Kazura is assaulted by a gang of Westerners during the team's subsequent mission to uncover proof that the Chinese are bringing weapons into the Dalian port from Germany. When Isao helps him, he shares with Kazura his principles, which were influenced by the events of the First World War, which came to an end with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in June 1919, and tells Kazura about a secret site operated by Ikenos where nuclear weapons are being produced. AI and Natsume set up a trap for Isao when they got back to the harbor. AI, Yukina. And Natsume are stunned by the acts of a troubled Kazura who decides to save Isao and teleports away after thinking back to the speech that Kanji Ishiwara delivered while he was in military school. Sakurai expresses little concern over Kazura's treachery, pointing out that because Pui was unable to meet AI, her actions with Shizune altered the path of history. Isao, in the meantime, informs Kazura that they must get ready for a conflict between America and Japan because of the prophecy his former fiancé made. AI is surprised to see Shizune is with Isao when she and Natsume break into his base, where his followers are detonating a bomb to destroy whatever evidence and weapons they cannot carry with them. Before fleeing with Shizune and Isao, Kazura lets his old teammates leave and explains to AI that he is joining Isao for the sake of the future of Japan and Asia. When they reach their destination, Kazura is shocked to see Sakurai already there. Despite the fact that Sakurai, whom they haven't seen in three months, has clearly abandoned AI, Yukina, and Natsume, they keep searching for information on Isao. As building is being done continuously in Xinjiang in anticipation of Pui's hurried inauguration as the new emperor of Manchukuo, Isao and his men continue to act covertly. Isao uses Shizune's powers to convey her vision of the atomic bombing to the prominent politicians assembled for the inauguration because the atomic bomb is still not complete. Isao issues a warning to bomb Shanghai at midnight if the leaders of the Western powers do not relinquish their colonies in Asia once his soldiers seize control of the area. After his battle with Kyus, Natsume is severely wounded by an unidentified soldier, although he requests that Yukina not be informed of his passing right away. Kezura rejoins his former allies after realizing that he has been dwelling on the past rather than looking toward the future as a result of Natsume's passing. When they confront Isao, he explains that humanity must experience tragedy firsthand to avoid war again, but is proved wrong by Shizune, who suggests that Isao's actions were actually for the sake of his late fiancé. When Sakurai appears and shoots at Yukina, Isao takes the shot and dies. After sneaking into Isao's group to kill him, Sakurai confesses his own involvement with nuclear weapons in an attempt to alter fate, but his subordinate Akishi wipes his memories. Shizune asks Akishi to remove her memories so that no one else may suffer the same fate as she did. Meanwhile, AI and Kezura combine their efforts to hijack the plane containing the atomic bomb and drop the weapon in the ocean. However, only Kazura is seen escaping the crashing plane, while AI's fate is left unknown. When Yukina sees Feng Lan at her restaurant two years later, she shows her the group photo from Hokuryu that includes Kazura. A violin being played poorly reminds Yukina of AI. She observes the Japanese army marching through the streets, a sign that the war is coming soon. This was today's video. If you enjoy it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new.